What's up guys, this is Kyle with Confident Canines and we're here with Moose. Uh, Moose is my personal dog, he's 12 years old, um, and he is going deaf. So we are going to e-collar train him to make recalling him a little bit easier. He's pretty hard to get a hold of these days because we can't get his attention. And we figure while we're doing that we might as well go ahead and train him through a whole program. So this is uh, all new for him. He hasn't worked on the e-collar before and he really hasn't worked these commands. He, he knows sitting down but he hasn't worked place before. Um, so. We're going to go ahead and get started with place, and we're going to use the opportunity as well to, to show you how we train the command. Um, we're working on the Mini Educator 300, and he's on a working level 5 right now. Um, that might change. We'll see how he responds. That's just what we've determined right now to be his best jumping off point. So we'll go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, here we are getting started. We changed location uh, just to give us a little bit more room to work. Um, we also, I might still be using food here, but I also did phase out the food. I think I am using food right now, but you'll see that I am going to phase it out because he just got a little bit too distracted by it. Um, some dogs it helps, some dogs it hurts. Uh, so we went ahead and just um, phased that out. Um, let's see, you can also see we uh, there's some hair there where we shaved a spot. He's a thick-haired dog. So we shaved a, a little spot on his neck to, to give us some better contact, make sure that we're getting good contact. And you can see I'm using a little hand motion there. That's not something I usually do, but of course he is deaf, uh, so he can't hear me say place very well. Um, so I'm just you know giving a little hand gesture there and then also trying to do a little hand gesture to break him. Um, it's kind of a, a new thing for me as well, so we're both learning here. Um, and the way that I'm doing this is just very beginning stages, pressure on, pressure off. So all that's happening is when there you see him shutting down a little bit, we can use the e-collar for that and get some going. Um, and the same thing there, pressure on, pressure off. So when I tell him place, uh, I start holding pressure on the low level. As soon as he, all four paws are on the mat, I release the pressure. Um, and that lets him know that he's done the right thing. And uh, we're going to do that uh, for a couple more days, and then we'll start to fade that out. Um, and eventually he'll just be doing it just with the hand gesture alone. And uh, we'll just be using the e-collar for corrections. Um, you see I'm using some leash there to help stop him when he gets to the, the edge of it. Um, <laughs> sitting and waiting that's perfect that's what we want to see um, I'm not telling them to sit but the more that they learn to just wait there uh, the more that they learn they just sit lay down uh, will be easiest um, so yeah we're just gonna do this a few more times and slowly start to increase the challenge See here, I'm going to start uh, increasing the challenge for him a little bit. I'm going to start uh, stop using my body as a marker. I'm going to stop start uh, stop stopping with him and uh, start asking him to just stop on his own. This uh, definitely increases the challenge. You know, they they tend to want to follow you, um, so this uh, deepens his understanding of what I'm asking him to do. Uh, and right now, I'm just doing some light distractions, some light proofing by walking around. Um, nothing too intense, but just you know, moving moving my body around. Uh, and letting him know that he needs to, to stay there regardless of what I'm doing. And I'm also just sort of waiting for him to relax now that we are getting a little bit deeper into it. His leash is stuck on his ear there. Uh, but the deeper that we get into this, uh, the more I'm going to wait for him to relax so he starts to see uh, what it is that I want him to do there. Not just stay there, not just be there, but actually relax there. Um, so try and use my there we go and get him to sit um, again I'm not going to give a command or anything but just kind of use time and uh, my body if necessary to create some spatial pressure uh, to help him again understand what I'm asking him to do do a little dance see if we can uh, tease him off of there but it doesn't look like we can and again just just gonna wait for him to relax just wait it out um, some dogs can take a little a little more time than others so uh, he's doing it. There we go. Perfect. And you'll see that's when I break him and uh, let him know he's doing the right thing.
Alright, and here we are at uh, our next training session, I think the next day. Um, and here I'm using uh, a dog bed. I like to start out with the elevated cots. I think it's a little bit uh, just more clear on where they need to stop. There's such a, a clear distinction between the, the cot and the floor. Whereas when you have a, a bed like this and some carpet, it can be slightly more vague. Um, so it's just upping the challenge slowly. Um, and you can see, you know, he's struggling a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Just trying to avoid the bed. Uh, again, this is all new to him. Even though he's a really balanced dog, he doesn't really have any uh, formal training. Um, so this this is kind of a new deal for him. He's used to just kind of laying where he wants and chilling out. Um, so and you see now he's stopping on his own, getting that sit, giving some affection, let him know that's what we want, and break. Um, and we're just going to keep doing that over and over. I'm going real slow with this guy just because... This is new for him. He's 12 years old. You know, he's slow. We're also doing um, probably more training sessions than other dogs just because I am... There he goes past, so bring him back on. Um, he's an older guy, so I don't want to wear him out, you know. So we might only go five, six, seven minutes at a time and then just come back later. And you see, again, I'm still waiting for him to either sit or down on his own and relax into it. Um, and, you know, a, a trick here is to kind of use your perfect, kind of use your body as a magnet. So if he does move or run off or something, you know, just come to the other side of the bed and just try and bring them to you. Don't try and joystick them on. And you can see there I used uh, some e-collar pressure um, when I was trying to get him to walk with me and he kind of wanted to shut down. Uh, so again, just hold the continuous pressure. Once he gets up, release it. And you see, he's really starting to get it there. He's going right to the edge of the mat and saying, okay, I think uh, this is where I'm supposed to stop. Um, and that affection is helping to reinforce that. So from here, uh, you know, we'll start doing some uh, short duration, probably 15, 20 minutes at a time. Um, we'll probably do a couple more sessions like this to make sure he's really got it. Um, and yeah, he's doing great. He, he's really getting the hang of it. <laughs> All right, and I think uh looks like I'm probably about to wrap this session up and probably just going to leave him there uh, for maybe 10 or 15 minutes just to end the session, and that'll be it. So uh, thanks for watching, guys.